Hey YouTube, this is Midnight Star coming at you with a video on weave care. I wanted to share with you um, my regimen that I'll be using to take care of my weave and my hair while it's um, in this sewing. So first thing I wanted to um, share with you, if I should keep this in um, longer than two weeks, I will wash it every three weeks, which I doubt that I will. but. Um, if I decide to just to keep it in for four weeks or if I go swimming or which I planned going on to the beach, what I'll be washing my hair with is the um, ORS olive oil um, creamy aloe shampoo. I'll be using this shampoo and I'll be using also the conditioner, the ORS olive oil replenishing conditioner. I've added some um, olive oil to this also, to the conditioner itself. Um, so that's what I'll be using for, um, and when I, when I put it in, how I put it in, I always put it in on um, one of these little applicator bottles and I make sure I get like in between the braids and I make sure I get the shampoo and the conditioner and you know, like that. And what I also do is I take a toothbrush, which I got this, um, soft brush, so I, I just make sure it's a soft brush with a toothbrush and I get it and I'm just going to open it up to show you exactly how I wash and condition. I take it to make sure my scalp is clean. I find where, you know, I find that part of my my um, hair and I take the, the brush and I, I go like that just to make sure my scalp is clean. That's how I actually clean my scalp when I um, have a weave in. Also, after, um, after I have shampoo, condition, I put this oil on my scalp, which this is a mixture of um, half Jamaican black castor oil, half, um, well, I think it's two ounces of Jamaican black castor oil, two ounces of um, jojoba oil, and then it's 10 drops of tea tree oil and 10 drops of peppermint oil. So this is what I actually use on my scalp. Um, I use this for my moisturizer. Oh, I'm sorry after our condition. This is not what it said. It says it is. It's actually ORS um, leave-in elastic. I think it's green tea elastic leave-in conditioner. That's what this is. I just it's in a different bottle. Um because uh I can't remember why I actually put it in here. I don't think I'm not sure if it comes in spray or not. Anyway, I put it in a different bottle. I've had this for a while. Um, so I put this in as a leave-in before I put it in, before I put my oil on there. And then I use this. This is um, what I use as a uh, conditioner, I mean as a moisturizer. It's um, ORS Shea Butter Softening Hair and Scalp Lotion. I use this and I just make sure I get this. I like everything that has an applicator bottle when I have these, um, when I have sew-ins, just to make sure that I'm actually getting to where I need to get to. So I make sure this goes like on my hair. If it gets on my scalp, that's fine too. But I'm this is really I use this to get onto my actual hair to um moisturize. And when I have braids, I mean when I have braids or weave, this is what I use for um sealing. I use this. This oil works really well. It's um hot six oil hair and body mist. Six oils in one with 14 natural herbs. It's a light spray on oil that moisturizes and softens your hair and skin. I like to use this, um, I don't know why, but when I have my braids or if I have a weave, I don't I don't use the same moisturizer and sealant that I use when my when, when my hair is out. And when uh, what I use on the actual weave itself, I don't use a whole lot of product on it. I either use these two things for shine. Um, if I don't, if I don't flat iron, this is normally what I'll use. I'll use, um, Weave Care, it's my, um, Soft Sheen Carson Weave Care, Superior Care for Human, and Synthetic Weaves and Extensions, Weightless, Sheen Spray, Spray On, Spray On Shine that softens without heaviness. <clears throat> Excuse me. I normally use this, like, if I roll it up because I will not just wear this hair, um, like this, I'll, it'll have more curls in it. I won't just wear it flat, so I'll probably show you guys that too. Once I actually style it, 
to when I put rollers or something in it. And this is what I use when I actually flat iron this hair. And it's just um, by ORS the Olive Oil um, Glossing Polisher. I use this just when I'm flat ironing. And I also I didn't bring it in here. I have like a light sheen spray. It's by um, Perfect for Perms. It's a non aerosol um, light um, holding spray. And if I'm like going to be out in the um, humidity or if it's raining or something like that, or if I just want it, I, I don't want my curls to fall after I flare iron, I'll put that in there first before I flare on iron and then it also. So that is how I will be taking care of my hair and my um, while I have this sewing in. And again, I will, I will not I probably, I'm going to go to the beach, so I know I'm going to wash it at least one time, but I probably won't keep this in for four weeks. I don't normally keep a hairstyle that long, so that's probably not going to happen. But if it does, for some particular reason, I will wash every three weeks. Um, I only moisturize and seal my hair once a week when I have braids or um, a sew-in, and that's just because my hair, it holds so much moisture and oil in it when it's up in these braids like that so i don't have to do it every night like i do when my hair is actually out it holds really well the the moisture when it has braids when it's um braided up like this so it'll just be once a week i mean if i notice maybe if i notice my, my scalp is um really itchy then i'll go ahead and wash it before three weeks but um, i normally do pretty well with the three weeks no, we don't have to wash and then, and also if it's um itch, itching me really bad and I don't want to wash it I also can um what I use is take the toothbrush and I have some um witch hazel take the witch hazel and I dilute a little bit of witch hazel with water um maybe three fourths of witch hazel one fourth of um water and I just dip this toothbrush in and I get into my scalp and um and, uh, you know clean my scalp especially where it's itching at because most of the time my scalp is itching really bad with this is because it's a little dirty and I work out so sometimes I might do that from here and there but that's pretty much it I just wanted to share with you guys how I'll be actually taking care of my hair again I'm going to have this sewing. I hope it was, this was helpful to some of you. I know there's a lot of questions out there. Well, how do I take care of my hair when I have a sewing? And what do you do? And all types of questions like that. So hopefully this will help some of you ladies out. And um, go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching YouTube. Bye-bye.